Sky Children of the Light is the next title from Journey creator That Game Company. A mobile only release at the moment, Sky Children of the Light is as close to a sequel to Journey as we may ever get. But rather than its forebear's dusty orange land, Sky frequently takes to the clouds, allowing you to explore shared environments throughout the heavens. The first and probably most important thing to discuss is the exceptional multiplayer experience. Throughout your journey you'll see shadowy ghosts travelling the same paths as you, lighting candles ahead of you and even completing objectives for you as they move along the same routes. Each of these ghosts is another player, and for everyone in front there may be ten behind you. In time you might find them journeying along with you as well. Regardless of where they are on their voyage, they're there for the same reason as you, to explore the worlds and restore the stars to the heavens. Similar to Journey's smaller scale multiplayer moments, there's this sense of camaraderie at play through the whole thing, sometimes beyond that of the co-op modes of most other games. Instead of forced objectives and mandatory teamwork, it all feels like a shared expedition. This sense of a shared journey is enhanced because Sky lacks the most standard methods of communication. You can't type out paragraphs in a global chat, you can't gob out instructions over a microphone. In fact, most interactions are limited to either sharing a flame by merging candles, or taking the hand of another. If you do share your candle, then the character becomes visible, and if you continue to interact with them, you can then assign them a nickname so you can pick them out from the crowds later on. In addition to other human players, you come across the ghosts of those who came before. By tracing their steps and observing their story, you can learn gestures, which can then be deployed at will. These gestures are exclusively for communication, but they add to the multiplayer fabric which makes the game more than just an artistic 3D platformer. Of course, the game isn't just captivating because of the friends you make along the way. Each of the levels, from the tiniest cluster of three islands through to larger, sweeping frozen wastes, have their own identities. Each of the areas are broken up into smaller instances. While some of these are large and sweeping, especially a skiing style one later on, many are small puzzle based areas. It's a strange contrast, the big open levels versus the small closed instances. We started to notice that later levels felt walled in, while early levels felt wide because they were surrounded by unreachable oceans or blankets of cloud. You can finish your first run as a 3 or 4 hour experience, and there's an emotionally satisfying ending in place to tie a bow on your quest. There's also a secondary ending available for those who want to invest more time into the exploration and the multiplayer. But even if you just finish the game once, we reckon it's worth it. Sky Children of the Light is a beautiful experience, which delivers much more than a standard 3D platformer and builds on Journey's unique multiplayer system. Go grab it and bring a little wonder onto your phone.